Hey guys, what's up? It's Melkozunki. So I decided to make a pretty interesting video for you guys today. So I have been slain, and I guess before I really get into the, the meat and potatoes of this video, I'll, I'll go over my Slayer XP really fast. So I am nearly 27 million Slayer XP, which means I've done about 2 million Slayer in the past week. It's been 7 days that I've been slain. I've been keeping track. So 7 days ago, I started slaying again, and pretty much the time that I've been on the past 7 days, uh, I have been slain on IRS at least, um, and I haven't been doing much else uh, in real life outside of work. Uh, when I've been home, I have been slain or playing Age of Empires 2. I've been playing quite a bit of that game, but uh, that's a different topic for a different day. And uh, anyway, so I've gained roughly about 2 mil Slayer XP in 7 days, and I'm also nearly 82 million defense XP and just about uh, 43 mil constitution XP, also known as hit points. Um, so anyway, that's pretty awesome. I am one of those really weird nerd people who likes, you know, keeping track of numbers. I don't really care about my spot and the high scores. I more care about my personal progress towards, well, in my case, 200 mil defense, because that's kind of a goal of mine, along with 200 mil farming, even though I'll never get 200 mil farming, because... Well, I doubt I'll play for another five years. But anyway, yeah, 200 mil defense is kind of a goal of mine, and that is something that's very achievable because a while ago, you know, when I first started training defense, which was after I got 99 defense and just immediately started training defense um, all the time with all my combat stats, I never really figured I would get to 200 mil. You know, I just thought, hey, I'll train defense, you know, and just I guess that's the skill I'll put XP into when I'll do combat. But every passing day it seems like more and more likely that that, that could actually happen because as you can see I'm almost halfway to 200 mil already um, you know 18 mil XP more to go and then I'll be at 100 mil defense so I'm very very excited for that I uh, might have to have a bit of a celebration when I reach 100 mil defense but anyway I procrastinated way too long what I wanted to show you guys in this video was proof that Slayer is not a dead money-making method so as I said, it's been seven days since I've, uh, get, you know, kind of took a very long break from divination and decided to start slaying. And in those seven days, this is what I've collected. So as you can see, this is my Slayer tab. I put all my Slayer drops in here. Everything in this tab is from Slayer except for these. Not these green dragon hides. These are from Corp. I got like two drops at Corp when I went there the other day, and uh, one of them was Green Dragon Hide, and the other one was like tuna potatoes, which are not in this tab because I ate them. Uh, I was pretty hungry that day, as you can, you know, very probably relate to. But anyway, um, I'm going to like start withdrawing stuff and like price check it and just show you guys. Even though for the most part, um, you're probably not going to be making this much money off Slayer unless you're a pretty high Slayer level and using Curadel, I would say probably about 95 Slayer or so for Ganon and Beast because I made quite a bit from them. But um, even at lower level Slayer, because you'll see I made quite a bit of money um, from Slayer monsters that did not require any Slayer level to kill. I'm just going to start withdrawing stuff. I have all the highest price stuff um, conveniently located in the bottom of my tab already because... Well, I'm kind of ashamed to admit it, but I already recorded this video once, and the recording footage is screwed up, and Camtasia hates me with passion, so anyway, I'm having to redo it, but that's fine. So, um, I do have a dragon hatchet from it, and you're saying, how is that from Slayer? Well, Curadil does assign Dagonos as a task, and you can kill Dagonos as a task, and I went to Dagonos Kings, and I got a dragon hatchet, so that's kind of how that happened. Also, the dragon hatchets have been crashing like crazy! They were selling for 7.3 mil at a point. I was merching them. I was buying them for 7 mil and 7, selling them for 7.3 at one time, as in two weeks ago. And now they're selling for like 4 mil, so it's not very happy. But anyway, I'm just going to keep it in my tab regardless. I don't care if I lose a film, few mils off of it. So as you can see, like the Gandaric Flakes, obviously if you're not 95 Slayer, you're not going to be getting those. Um, some of the stuff like Lantidime Seeds, those are mostly from Ganodermic Beasts. The Blood Runes, I don't know how I got so many Blood Runes. Um, yeah, they were in my Slayer tab, and I didn't have any a week ago, so I got them from Slayer somehow. I think Dragons drop a ton of Blood Runes, and I've ha been having a ton of uh, Steel and Iron Dragon tasks, so that's, I guess, where I got them. But um, as you can see, like 
The dragon bones, you don't need a slayer level to kill dragons. And look, 6.2 mil from the dragon bones, 1.6 mil from the black dragon hides, 1.6 mil from the blue dragon hides. You do not need any slayer level to kill dragons. And you can get them from most slayer masters. So, I mean, that's great money. And also, um, the water talismans are from Dagonoth Kings. Like, you don't need a slayer level to kill Dagonoth. True, you're going to need, you know, higher combat stats and a knowledge of PVM to kill Dagonoth Kings, but that's a great way to make money. DKs are really, really good money, and you don't need any slayer level to kill them. And Infernal Ashes, like, you can get those from Necreals, which aren't a very high slayer. They only require level 80 slayer. And you can also get them from Black Demons, which don't require any slayer level at all. And I got 4.5 mil from them. So, as you can see, I've been making bank off of even some tasks that you don't need really high slayer to... to um, to get those tasks. So as you can see, like the water talismans, the dragon hatchets, the uh, wyvern bones, skeletal wyverns are not a very high slayer level to kill. They're like 75 or something like that. I think it's 74. It might be 76. It might even be 7. No, I'll stop now. But anyway, yeah, wyvern bones, you don't need very high slayer level to kill them. Uh, black demons, you don't need a slayer level. Necreals isn't very high slayer level. Dragons, you don't need a slayer level to kill them. Um, what's some other stuff in here? Like Mithril, Bars, these are from uh, Order of Ascension members. You don't need a very high slayer level to kill them. Uh, Adamant Bars, these are from Order of Ascension members. And Desert Strike Worms, you don't need a very high slayer level to kill them. Uh, it's only 77 slayer to kill the Desert Strike Worms. So anyway, as you can see, like quite a bit of this tab, I would say most of this tab. Like the rune items, these are from uh, Metal Dragons, the helm and the limbs and stuff. So. And the pure essence, that's mostly from Ice Strike Worms. But uh, anyway, as you can see, you can make bank off of Slayer. So I made like probably about 35 mil if you um, add up all the rest of this tab too. Uh, and you do not need a very high Slayer level to um, to gain these drops. I also forgot to price these tooth half keys. Like you can get these half keys from pretty much any monster in the game. I think most monsters drop them. And that's, that is a lot of money in half keys. <laughs> I didn't realize they were worth that much. I thought they were like 10k, but um, yeah, like a mil worth in half keys. And you can get those from any monster at all. Uh, it helps if you're wearing Ring of Wealth. But anyway, you know, as you can see, you can make bank loot from Slayer, and you don't need a really high Slayer level to do it. But anyway, I kind of hope this video encouraged you to perhaps try out some Slayer level, some Slayer yourself. Uh, and hopefully you can be making some bank. Look, there's a mill in water orbs. Water fiends don't require a slayer level, you know? See, you, I, I hope you guys get my gist now. What I'm saying is slayer is great money. Um, I've just been hearing a lot of people lately on my slayer videos. They're like, oh, slayer is crap money. Or they come in my FC and start talking bad about slayer. It's like, look at how much I made in a week. And it, although it's true I have dragors, like, I haven't been playing 14 hours a day. I've been playing, like, I don't know, five hours a day on average. Uh, during the past seven days, I had three shifts at work where I was there for 8 to 10 hours, so it's not like I was on RS all day. Um, I also haven't had a day off from work the past 7 days. I've been at work every single day, so I mean, it's not like I've been on RS all day, every day slain to achieve this, so anyway. I know this is a really, really long and drawn out way of saying that Slayer is awesome, and don't, uh, you know, don't belittle slayer for not being great money because you can still make bank off of it and you don't need high stats uh, because you can kill like for example dragons or black demons with very very low stats you don't need high stats to kill them and you can still make money but anyway thanks for watching this video guys and I just I hope that you learned a lesson today that slayer is worth doing and I love it and you should too and that I'm going for 200 mil defense, kind of, in a way, sort of. So if you want to um, encourage me on that goal, you should join my friends chat. Hi, everyone. You're all included in the video. And cheer me on to 200 mil defense, but that's all for this video. I'm going to go now. Bye.